we are going to do today a 24 kilometer we cycle loop around the Ockram battlefield which is about um, an hour and a half. Uh, the route we've taken today is a bit hilly. We're going out uh, through the Garbley roundabout again down the Bertumna road from Garbley Gates where we started and we're traversing across this capital Uruquay hills into the battlefield on that route so it's and you'll come back in then the old M6 roads that's us passing out the motor roundabout and down again to the Portumna road continue down there until you come to the uh, I think it's the second right which is uh, a right at White's uh, sand pit and up to the left of um, uh, Joe Hayes's former factory St Matthew's church uh, which was built in 1818 to a church of Ireland a church uh, on part of the escarpment that uh, starts the, the rise to Uruquay Hill and the Uruquay Hill is important because it's where a lot of the uh, Williamite uh, cannon uh, were, were in, installed. So we're going to follow the little brown signs all the way. This is where it gets a bit hilly uh, because you're on high ground, This is which was a favourite of, of cannon <laughs> uh, during a 17th century warfare because of course we are traversing, we're making a left here just before you come to the motorway. And that takes you along the left flank of the uh, Williamite uh, Cavalry. Our, our High Cross here commemorates where Sam Ruth uh, from France um, died. He was decapitated by the cannonball. That's Ockram Castle. That's the lovely picturesque Ockram Village, which is the Church of Ireland, a uh, beautiful church, 1880. This cross is significant because it denotes where, in 1936, our first minister, uh, Patrick Hogan, uh, was killed in a car crash. He was a very formidable uh, figure in his day and he was the uh, first minister in the executive state council and also brought in a famous 1923 land act which compulsory brought all the land off the landlords valerie's the old shillelagh uh, that used to be um uh, Freddie Hines's pub in the centre of town uh, is renowned for, for music and serves lovely food. The RIC barracks was evacuated in 1922. Uh, now, the uh, National School here was founded m much before 1893, but it was at the end of the St. Augustine Little Abbey there. And in 1893, they built a school which is now St. Catherine's Hall, the new beautiful school of Ockram with its magnificent solar panel <laughs> windows and roofs uh, was updated lately. Uh, the uh, Church of Ireland School, one of the smallest schools in Ireland is the beautiful and very prestigious and environmentally friendly uh, Glebe. Now in the heart of the village there's this fabulous uh, new park uh, which commemorates the O'Kellys and the O'Kelly Castle connection in Ockram. Uh, Martin Joyce is a, was synonymous with the unearthing of so many artefacts to do with the battlefield and indeed in placing the battle uh, higher up I suppose in historians appreciation of what went on there than the Battle of the Boyne. So this new park that's been developed by the Ockram Development Association, stands on the site of the former um, orphanage which was built in the early 1800s as again a Church of Ireland orphanage, but strangely enough managed to hand, have in its books over 50% of non-CFI kids. There's the wonderful Battle of Ockram's uh, Interpretive Centre, which is closed at the moment, uh, but you can pick up a lot of the trail from the Facebook and from uh, the website. We cross the road again to go up Ockram or Kilcomodon Hill, which was the position that Sam Ruth, the leader of the uh, Jacobite, there were those the followers of King James' army. So this is the vista of Bloody Hollow, where a huge amount... It's funny, the, the Battle of Ockram should really, really have been called the Battle of Clontuskert, because most of the heavy fighting was done on the bridge just below here at Adil Brazil, <coughs> where Ginkles who was the commander of the Wimai forces, wanted to draw some... There's Eddie Basil Ridge. This was the scene of huge fighting. And the fighting didn't begin on that famous day on the 12th of July, or the 1st of July, if you're on the old calendar, till about five o'clock. And the Addy Brazil Bridge um, activity on the left flank, which borders Clontuskert, was all about trying to suck soldiers and ca cannon and bayonet in from the Ockram village to weaken the area for defensively. And that's exactly what happened. And that's the area at, at Lutlow's Pass where the um, Dutch and, and Williamite soldiers uh, played havoc. Some uh, 6,000 uh, men uh, lay dead after that evening in July in 1691. We're swinging back in by Matney, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. It's a, a hillier version of other flat cycles, but very historical and very interesting nonetheless.